the quality of fabric should be inspected before garments are produced. At least 10% of the fabric received in the store is typically inspected using standardized point systems. These systems assign penalty points to defects based on their severity and size. Some common used point system for fabric inspection are 4-point system, 6.5-point system, 10-point system, Dallas point system, number 1, 4-point system, most widely used, especially in the apparel industry. Maximum penalty points for a single defect, 4 points. Defects are categorized by size, with penalties ranging from 1 to 4 points. Number 2, 6.5-point system, used for more detailed inspections. Higher tolerance for defects with maximum penalty points. Suitable for fine fabrics or when stricter quality control is required. Number 3, 10 point system. 10 point system used in some traditional setups. Defects are rated on a scale up to 10 points. Larger penalty range allows differentiation between minor and major defects. Number 4, Dallas point system. Older system primarily used in the US. Assigns penalty points based on defect location and size. Less commonly used today due to industry preference for simpler systems like the four-point system. Each system has its advantages and the choice depends on the type of fabric, buyer requirements, and industry standards. The four-point system remains the most popular due to its simplicity and efficiency. The four-point system, also known as the American Apparel Manufacturers Association Point Grading System, is a widely accepted method for inspecting fabric. It's used in the apparel industry and even by the U.S. Department of Defense. So, how does it work? When fabric arrives at the store or factory, 10% of the fabric is randomly selected for inspection. Any defects found on the fabric are marked and categorized based on their size, and each defect is assigned penalty points. Here's the breakdown of the penalty points based on the size of the defect. Defects up to 3 inches, 1 point. Defects between 3 to 6 inches, 2 points. 6 to 9 inches, 3 points. Defects greater than 9 inches, 4 points. Holes less than or equal to 1 inch, 2 points. Holes over 1 inch, 4 points. Let's look at an example. Imagine we have a fabric roll that's 132 yards long and 43 inches wide. After inspection, we find several defects in different sizes. Here's the breakdown of what we discovered. Six defects up to three inches equals six points. Four defects between three and four inches equals four points. Six inches equals eight points. Two defects between six and nine inches equals six points. Two defects greater than nine inches equals 8 points. That gives us a total of 28 penalty points for this fabric roll. But how do we calculate the total points per 100 square yards? Here's the formula for calculating points per 100 square yards. From the above formula, we found the result is 17.8 defect points per 100 square yards, which is acceptable according to the standards set by many mills and brands. The acceptable level of defects varies based on the type of fabric, the yarn size, and other factors. Different fabric types like woven or knit may have different acceptable defect levels. For example, silk fabrics may tolerate a higher point value compared to synthetic materials like polyester. These standards can vary depending on the fabric group or the specific shipment. This ensures that the fabric you receive meets your expectations, whether you're producing high-end garments or more standard apparel. That's a wrap on our overview of the four-point system. I hope this video helps you understand how fabric quality is measured and how the four-point system can be used to maintain high standards. Remember, quality control is key to making sure your final product turns out just right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more textile insights. Drop your comments below if you have any questions, or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover next.